The Gracias Choir's Christmas cantata performance was held at the Gayo Namnam Culture and Arts Center in Jinju on the 5th, and at the Besco Auditorium in Bizen from the 6th to the 10th. Due to the active promotion of local media and the activities of the sponsorship team, there were many group audiences, and an interview was also conducted between Pastor Ok Su Park and the media about the Christmas cantata performance. The three-act performance, which included opera and musical chorus, and the Little Santa performance in the interlude were also well received by the audience. I thought the choir members were only good at singing, but I was once again surprised to see that they were so good at dancing like experts too. In my life up to this point, I often thought of Christmas as just a gift, something to have fun with and share good things with good neighbors. But I realized once again that Christmas itself is actually an indescribable gift to us. I came to think that Christmas was the day we received the amazing gift God gave us. I came to think that Christmas was the day we received the amazing gift God gave us. Pastor Ok Su Park, founder of Gracha's Choir, participated in this national tour and delivered a message to the audience between the second and third acts. This week's performances in Jinju and Bizen preached the gospel that Jesus was crucified for us and forgave us of all our sins. The Gracha's Choir's Christmas Cantata National Tour continues next week at Sejong Center for the Performing Arts and Poon Art Hall in Yongin. The 2023 Ukrainian Christmas Cantata Tour will run from the 3rd to January 7th next year with a total of 30 for performances in 30 cities. The performance will consist of a variety of programs such as band performances, wholesome dance, and choir, focusing on a musical about the birth of Jesus. The first performance will be held on the 3rd in Tamashka, a small city near the capital Kiev, to convey the love of Jesus to the citizens. The Ukrainian church said it hopes that this winter's Christmas cantata tour will fill the hearts of the Ukrainian people with hope. Uganda Good News Kampala Church held the first volunteer orientation for the program of Visit of Rev. Park at Makara University on November 25th and Kiambogo University on December 4th. The orientation consisted of performances by overseas volunteer members, mind lectures and group meetings. In particular, at Makara University, Ugandan missionary Kim Young-jin gave a lecture on the topic of the power of volunteering mind. The Kampala Church said that this volunteer program will be an opportunity to teach Ugandan University students the spirit of sacrifice and service. Kenya Good News Nakaru Church has completed the mind education that has been conducted at Nakaru Remand Home for six months since last May. Remand Home is a place where juvenile offenders await the final trial results, and the Nakaru Church has been holding academy and mind education every Wednesday. In particular, in November, the gospel was preached on the power of the word, and many students were convinced of the forgiveness of their sins. Director Remand Home awarded certificates of appreciation to overseas volunteers members. Nakaru Church said it hopes the youth at Remand Home who receive mind education will receive guidance from Jesus in the future.